identifying auxiliary verbs, determiners, and prepositions. Identifying auxiliary verbs. Number one, is it the first verb in a yes-no question? For example, will Tom finish school this year? So this is the first verb, so we're going to call this an auxiliary verb. Here's another one. Has the movie started yet again? This is a yes-no question, and it's the first verb uh, in the sentence. So that is an auxiliary verb. Now, the second question kind of goes with what I was just saying. Number two, is it the first verb in a verb string? So we have main verbs and we have auxiliary verbs. A main verb occurs alone. An auxiliary verb occurs with another verb. Example, my friend has completed two semesters of college so far. Has is the auxiliary verb. Completed is the main verb. Why? Because we have a verb string. And the first verb in the verb string is the helping verb or the auxiliary verb. Identifying determiners. Does the word occur before a noun? For example, the car, many books, these classes. So we can say that these words are determiners. Now, it's a little confusing because adjectives also occur before nouns. And that's why we have the next question. Determiners do not occupy the adjective slot. Therefore, can you place an adjective after the word? If the answer is yes, right, then that word is probably a determiner. So let's look at what we can do here. So we have the plus expensive plus car. So we have determiner, adjective, noun. We have many lengthy books. So because we can put the adjective after this word, this is a determiner. We have these strenuous classes. So these determiner, adjective, noun. Number three, I don't know if this is going to help you that much, but we have what's called open class category words. We have closed class category words. So open class means we can add words to the category every year. A closed class means we cannot. Typically, prepositions, determiners, and auxiliary verbs are closed class category words, which means we cannot add words to that category. So as a result, if new words can be added, these words are not determiners. So I went over to an online dictionary. I looked at some new words that are being used for 2021, right? And none of them are determiners. These, in fact, are all adjectives. Body shaming, servetin, toyetic, and Zionistic. So all of these words, and we can add, we can add more adjectives to our vocabulary every year. And more nouns. How about the word Zoomer? Are you a Zoomer? Were you a Zoomer? Were you someone who used Zoom? That's a pretty common word now, given the pandemic, right? Identifying prepositions. Prepositions, function words, these words we're talking about right now, we call them function words, right? Because they're grammatical type words. They're extremely complex. With prepositions, here's something that might help you. I'm going to say, can the word be placed into the following sentence? So we have the airplane flew the cloud, right? So let's think of words we might put in here. The airplane flew into the cloud, through the cloud, around the cloud, under the cloud, above the cloud. Right? All of those words that I'm using are all prepositions because I can put them within this blank to complete the sentence, and it's meaningful, right? So it shows you the spatial kind of nature of prepositions. Now, of course, we have words that don't work because of is a preposition, right? The airplane flew because of the cloud. 
that's probably not going to work, right? But many, many prepositions can be placed into this sentence, and that tells you that those words are prepositions. Okay, number two. Prepositions introduce noun phrases. Noun phrases consist of determiners, adjectives, and nouns. Consequently, can the word be placed before a noun phrase? If it can go before the noun phrase, then it might be a preposition. I'll show you three examples. Into the blue sky, next to the desk, under the large table. So into, next to, and under are all prepositions. To conclude, determiners, prepositions, and auxiliary verbs are referred to as content words. No, they're referred to as function words, I apologize. Function words typically don't carry a lot of meaning and they're unstressed words in the English language. That's the character characteristics of these kinds of closed class category words.